Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac and we are here on the new microphone. On the new microphone, we're going to do another Epiphany character here. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to go for this time around. Maybe Maggie, I know Maggie's changed since I last played as her. Um, I could give her a go. I think particularly Kane and Judas aren't my style. Um, but we can, we can potentially, what is this? Um, psych. <laughs> uh, we'll go with Maggie and see how Maggie performs now. I know she's changed a little bit. She's got a little bleeding heart meter and cardiac arrest to like shoot out hearts and stuff. It's, it's a bit, it's a bit interesting. It's a bit interesting. She's got a little bit going on with her. I can't exactly remember how she works. I know that you can like do things to, to gain more hearts and stuff. Um, that meter, that zero out of 12 allows us to gain more hearts. Oh my god, as you can see, this is how we gain hearts. Um, cardiac Arrest allows us to plummet this through enemies, and then we can go and pick up as many hearts as we can. Uh, I don't remember what happens when the meter defills, but pretty interesting idea. Pretty interesting idea. I like the idea of, like, basically squelching out a bunch of hearts from enemies. Um, it's it's, it's kind of difficult to utilize fully. Uh, by the way, also, just, just sort of... Other than this character here. Um, I'm not actually entirely sure if I've got this mic dialed in correctly. I think it might be a little more quiet than my previous one. Which is not a bad thing. My other one was a bit too loud. Um, but it does mean that, yeah. I, I might need to do some tweaking and some setting changes before we get it just right. I will do my best to sort of keep on top of it and try and... Uh, there you go. We've got a heart container there. Very nice. I'll do my best to try and keep on top of it and... Um, try and figure out the best possible settings. Um, I think we can also lose hearts as well, so I've got to be aware of that fact. Um, but yeah, this makes quite different than my last one. Definitely much, much higher quality, um, which I'm hoping is is audible. But um, even if it's not to you guys, it definitely is to me. It's it's more of a podcasting mic than just a generic microphone. Uh, my other one was a, was a dynamic mic. Uh, uh, no, sorry. I think this, this one's a dynamic mic. I can't remember what the other one's called now. But it's a different version of microphone. And this one's just much better at dealing with, like, sound in the room and stuff. But do I do I lose anything by using Cardiac Arrest? Or does it just set my, set my trigger going? I don't think I lose a lot from doing that. As long as I can pick up a few hearts from it. I'm up to seven already here. Oopsie. Okay, we managed to get up to 8 here. We're at minus 10 on our counter. Not quite sure what the minuses exactly mean. We do get a bunch of speed from doing this, though, which is nice. And we get an amazing item here as well. Okay, keep it going. We're at 11 out of 17. It seems like it's going to be relatively easy to reach a good amount of hearts. But I'm guessing it'll become harder and harder as we keep increasing. So we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Kind of want to get enemies in a line. By the way, I'm definitely still experiencing a little bit of lag. I, um... I haven't been experiencing it for a while. For a good while. And I've, I've, I've disabled some of the mods that I thought would be causing it. Um, and I don't think it's any of those, so... Unfortunately, I think I, think I know which one it is now. Which is not ideal, because it's a mod I really like. But I'm going to have to disable for a little bit and just see. Oh god. I kind of want to keep that, to be honest, but it's gone now. No bother. Uh, I haven't got a key for this at the moment. It's weird my speed sort of always fluctuating here. Excuse me. Oh, line up. Oh, my lord. Okay, those enemies are the ones to shoot. Because they're segmented. They've got, like, bit different pieces to their body. God damn. If you hit all the pieces of their body, shit goes wild, right? Go towards me. There you go. Hey, another heart container, baby. That's 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 awesome. That part of this item is really good. And yeah, we've got this little thing where you freeze enemies when we enter a room. And we've also got freezing baby to do a little bit of additional freezing, too. We do not mind that at all. We do not mind that at all. One thing that is a bit strange about getting used to this new microphone is it's uh, because it's a podcasting mic, you're meant to have it a lot closer to your face. So I kind of got it like pushed up against me, which feels just unnatural. <laughs> it's a little hard to get used to the fact that if I move forward even slightly... My, my lips are kissing the microphone. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have to get used to that a little bit. But change is not a bad thing. Oh my lord. So I think as long as you get like maybe four hearts in one 
it seems worth it. Dude, having having these enemies being stuck at the start is real, real nice. Having them be like unable to move. We haven't actually been to our item room yet here, remember? Try to remember that. So on bosses here, I don't know if I really want to be using my cardiac arrest much, but it does good damage, so I want to. We're up to 20 out of 23 already, so clearly this is proving to be quite worthwhile. There you go, another heart container, baby. Okay, we've managed to gain quite a few here, so Devil Deal is going to be the way to go here. Almost certainly, because we've got such a good avenue to make more hearts and be able to enable us to do Devil Deals. I actually quite like this version of um, of the bleeding effect. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, not a great item there. We didn't get into our item room, so we need the key to go back and check that out. Right, let's have a little look, see what the Devil Deal has on offer for us. Very nice. Follow Isaac, we'll start chasing enemies and they're too close. Yeah, why not? We'll give it a go. Honestly, we can get hearts back so easily that I feel like we have to just go for it. Um, this, this is, it's a really interesting way, like a really interesting idea for Maggie, to be honest. I kind of like it. It's 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 very intriguing. Very intriguing. My, my chin keeps sl like just about touching the microphone. I'm going to tilt it up a tiny little bit. There you go. But yeah, I literally had just arrived like an hour ago. So I've not had much time to sort of play around with it. Did not really go to plan there. I'm liking this little dude. This little blowing bubbles little fella. Not quite sure how powerful he's going to be, but he seems he seems interesting at least. He at least intrigues me. Okay, so I, I could technically um, hold out and wait before I use... Uh, before I kill the enemies to get another cardiac arrest and kind of somewhat farm the enemies. I'm a little annoyed we didn't get a key this floor at all. Um, we do have air bombs, so secret room is in play, but I don't actually know where it would be, so... Do you know what? I'm going to go for my curse room here and see if I can get like a spicy key in there. They often, they're often in there. Um, I can do that at least one second. Da -da -da -da. Sorry about that. Let's continue on. Okay, we did get some hearts out of that, I guess, which is something. Uh, but I very much would like to uh, get a key. I guess I could go and bomb the... Um... I'll, I'll take a pill. Why not? Oh, it's a tears up. I guess I could go and bomb this uh, this chest out and potentially get something like a key out of this. I mean, honestly, the chance of getting a key or a bomb are pretty high. So I'd either get my bomb back or a key. And there you go. I got my bomb back. And I got in here, which I wasn't expecting. There's the spicy keys we were looking for, baby. Do I really want to do this? Is this a terrible idea? Ho, ho, ho. It worked. Entering a new floor heals um, half of Isaac's empty red hearts. Ooh, pretty good. We also got another tears up there. Been a pretty good floor so far, I've got to say. Right. We can now go back and actually do something with our little uh, little item room. Hopefully something good. Hopefully something good. But yeah, one thing that you guys might notice about this new microphone, uh, before I used to use an equalizer on my other mic to make it sound better, which added a lot of bass to my voice. Ooh, what is this? See, Battle Fantasy, unfortunately, is the mod that I think might be causing it. Just because, although it's a really good mod, it's the only mod I've added recently uh, and I, that I've seen to be, uh, like, since I seem to have been getting lags. I'm going to have to test with that and see if it, it might not be, but it might be. Tears up, 20% chance to spawn a musical note um, orbital upon killing an enemy. Music notes block three projectiles, then damage and confuse nearby enemies before disappearing. Sounds pretty cool. I like the idea of it. Ooh, a soul heart as well. The preferable option there, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so you'll notice that my voice sounds more natural, more normal, a little bit... Like, it's still, it's still got a little bit of bass to it, obviously, but um, it, it, before it was, like, overly bassy and a bit too loud and a bit too deep. Um, so it should sound a bit more natural now and actually what my voice sounds like in real life, which is good. Um, so hopefully that's coming through and hopefully you guys enjoy that. Also, I can get really nice and low and do ASMR. <laughs> Aww, I tried to like hit all three of them then and just missed everything. But I'm interested in this musical note idea. Did you see that dodge? Okay, it, it was quickly, quickly, uh, taken away from me. Oh, man. Right, this is this is a room where I can utilize Cardiac Arrest. I do like the fact that these music notes are, for some reason, comically large. And um, don't really look that much like music notes, but we'll, uh, we'll accept it. 
it's it is what it is. <laughs> they, they are they are generally music note shaped, but they kind of I don't know. I, I wouldn't. If someone was said, "Hey, what's this?" I probably wouldn't say a musical note. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh, we got a we got a little little one of these bad boys. Do you want to back off, sir? Thank you. I am enjoying the cardiac arrest. Got an idea here. There you go. The idea was performed. Was it worth anything to us? We did get a heart container out of it, so we're up to, uh, we're up to our second one already. Ah, I, didn't, I, I need some speed ups to have to sort my base speed be higher. Be able to do a lot more. I really like this whole enemies being frozen at the start of a room thing. It makes this so much easier to get cardiac arrest going. Also, pretty cool item here. Um, for seven seconds, if you lack red hearts, you'll generate it. It's kind of good, but we don't need it right now, especially with the setup that we've got going on. I'm just curious, like, is it not going to be kind of hard to die? <laughs> I'll check out my shop for a soul heart. There you go. Grab that bad boy. Just try and keep my devil deal alive. As I said, I've got plenty of fuel for the fire in terms of devil deals. So I want to try and take advantage where I can. Let's go for this, shall we? So these musical notes, can I do contact damage with them? A little bit, look by the looks of it. Or was that just my little, uh, was that just my little fruity boy doing stuff? Having tech zero here, reasonably good, but we'd like piercing to make it truly good. Bit of Death's Touch perhaps, game? Bit of Death's Touch? I didn't even do a question of the day, did I? Question of the day is, um... Is... Do you like my new microphone? <laughs> no, um... What's something unexpected that's happened to you recently? I think both of these are pretty good. What's something unexpected that's happened to you recently? Also, this makes getting new hearts, like, super fucking easy, so... Now that, we're, like, when we trade more hearts away, we can get new ones really quickly. Although, I think having zero red hearts as this character is probably not a good thing. Um, I would assume. Okay, this is kind of awkward. Good up to five already. I can probably wait on this guy, to be honest. Ah, oh, you're a ninkong poop. Oh, Steven, hello. Wasn't expecting you right there. Wasn't expecting you. But yeah, we're at four out of eight already. So we can do it in like one fell swoop here. Especially when the enemies are sitting so still. I say if one fell swoop and then I just like pick up a single heart and nothing more. Not great. Honestly, these nerds are great. They're blocking so many shots right now. Really going to put them over the pit there, aren't you? Really going to put them over the pit. Ooh, a little bit of a range increase. Do not mind if I do. Um, Do we want to wait for you guys to come over here? I think we do, don't we? Let's hold up a minute. I don't even know what I got from my Lemma getting Wisp, so... I don't really miss... <laughs> I don't really miss having it, because I was completely oblivious to what it was. This could be another good room here. Um, or I could walk directly into an enemy. You never know. Oh my god, we're freezing up everything right now. Did I miss everything there? No, I didn't. But I'm stuck on a pit. I was like, why can't I move forward? I'm stuck on a goddamn pit. Okay. I've lost a considerable amount of HP to some stupid stuff here. But Luminary Flare. We like it. We like Luminary Flare quite a bit, we do. <laughs> These music notes. I don't know, they're finding funny. Right, let's keep it moving there. Whoa! I got like double hearts there. What was that about? I'm not quite sure what that was about. Ah, I tried to block them with the goddamn things that didn't really work out. Not a fan of this room. Thank you, Flare. 
item room, where art thou? So at this point, I'm just losing hearts, but I'm at, I'm at, it says minus one. So I think once, that's, once that minus one goes away, I think at that point, I just stop taking damage. I think. <laughs> I may be misinformed or... But I say misinformed like I was informed at all to begin with. Um, I don't actually know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much guessing here. But on the next episode, I think next episode, we will be doing an, um, a little sort of interview style thing with one of the contributors of the Epiphany mod, which I'm really intrigued to do, actually. I'm quite excited for it. Um, I think as, as a... I wouldn't say as a hater. I don't think I've ever been a hater. But as, as someone that has definitely publicly opposed some of the decisions in Epiphany in the past... It's, it's a really sort of a healthy and good, interesting decision. for the Rather than for one of the... So, so just a sort of more meta commentary on developers uh, of mods as a whole. Rather than doing what a lot of develop, mod developers do, and like when someone badmouths or like says something about their mod, they immediately just go like, fuck that person, they don't know what they're talking about. Rather than just doing that, actually going, okay, let's try and understand this person's point of view, is like just a, a really sort of healthy and good thing to do and I'm really just I don't know I'm happy that um happy that it's something they're willing to do and like I didn't prompt it it was them that asked so I just I just think that was really cool oh baby nah I'm, I'm gonna do that I couldn't get there in time I really really wanted to oh wait did I not get all of them there what happened maybe luminary, luminary flare killed a bunch of them before I could get there I'm not entirely sure I can't even get to you yet. Can I blow up this poop before you get to it, though? I can. Good. That makes me feel better, because now you're just going to buzz off, quite literally. Ooh, lead pencil's pretty good for our situation. Good, good, good. But yeah, I'll, um... I'll see if... I think it's called Battle Fantasy. I'll see if I can do some testing with Battle Fantasy and see if that's at all causing me any lag issues. It doesn't... It's not bad. Like, the game feels mostly fine. It's just, like slight, it's like the slightest twinge, the slightest little, little bit of, um, of lag, and I, I, I can just feel it a little bit, and I, I don't know, I want it, I want it to go away, I'm, I'm not used to it, I don't, it's probably not even visible to you guys, I mean, it also doesn't help that I'm a, I'm a slow character, so the game is just kind of slow right now, anyhow. Right, anyways, we're done with this floor. We've got some good stuff. I'm really glad I went back for that lead pencil. We also, uh, I'm going to buy the um, the candle in this shop here. Because we don't have too many shops left. And we do have Keeper's Ball Sack now. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty decent damage upgrade, honestly. We've been pretty desperately in need of damage. we got a little bit of speed. Our range has come up a little bit as well. Although, wasn't our range at 10 at one point? Where did, the, uh, where did that go? I'll um, see about popping these pills. Oh, we dropped our active item. Damn it, we got a speed down. Tell you what I wasn't hoping for. A goddamn speed down. Hey, my, my Lilith is uh, spawn, spawned a little Abaddon. We like it, we like it. Oh, that's a lot of troll bombs, my guy. That is far more troll bombs than I was willing to deal with. Good, good, good. And a hey, black heart and a bit of damage. Okay, damage is actually feeling reasonably okay now. Damage is feeling reasonably okay. But yeah, lusty bloods are really, um, really decent item to get here. But m more better would actually be bloody lust because we're taking damage a lot. Ooh, baby. Bumbo want coin. Bumbo's gonna take all my coin, and then I'm gonna lose the goddamn. I'm going to lose the goddamn wisp. Oh, hello. That's intriguing. Right, let's just let's just 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 rinse these fools. Make our life a bit easier. I'm just use this as a speed boost to get through some other rooms. Interesting concept for a room. I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing here. Oh, I, I can actually kill the little lads. I'm just going to bomb you anyways. It just seems easier. <laughs> it just saves me time and it seems 
more like something I'm willing to do. Okay, we're going to have a lot of uh, bombs following us here. Oh, God. This is a bit of a bit of a hectic little room we got going on here. Mutant Spider or Tech 800M? I mean, we'll go for Mutant Spider. We've got some tears ups already, so I'm down to clown with it, to be honest. Our health is is depleting rapidly here. Ooh, astral projection being very intriguing for us here. Also, Tech Zero is very good for us now with a. Uh, Sp some spread shot. Because we take damage. Oh, this is very intriguing. So we kind of need to just sort of shotgun it a little bit. Do you want to come over here, flies? Oh, really? You just went into the goddamn cloud? So I get really close up to them. Oh, I managed to kill him before it, before it hit him. That was stupid. Gotta work out how to how to navigate this now. But having it trigger on hit effects is pretty awesome. It, it makes getting the hearts significantly easier here. Because we basically got this slow-mo effect going on that allows us to grab them all. I like that a lot. It also seems to work really well with Tech Zero, which is kind of good. I also gain flight during it too, which is incredible. Okay, this is a really, really good setup for this character, I think. I like it. We're able to gain hearts pretty quickly here. Dark bum, oh dark bum, you could be a, uh, you could be a saucy little bugger right now, couldn't you? My goodness, you could you could really do some damage. <laughs> the fact that it gives us flight allows us to do stuff with this. Oh, we can only can do it once per room though. Right, dark bum. I need you to do some stuff. There you go. Beautiful. Up to 17. Dude, we might be able to get a lot of hearts like this. This is a really interesting little setup we got going on here. I like it. I like it. It even teleports us back. We've got to be quick now because as you can see, our, uh, our, our bleeding meter is like fading quickly. There you go, we got up to another level. This is this is absolutely beautiful. I just hope we can make some devil deals work. You can go over there, get that guy. Come over here. Oh, the flight ended because the room ended. My bad, my bad. Sometimes the enemies spawn two lots of hearts as well, which is strange. I don't really understand why that happens. Die. Like, you see how he's just, like, pooting out a ton of hearts? Why would I want a reverse High Priestess? Whoever gave me that belongs in jail. This is really cool, this. This is a really cool run with this character. I want another on-hit effect that's going to be spicy. Are you kidding me? Do you see me just lose that that um, that devil deal right at the end there? Stupid. I wasn't paying attention to what my devil deal chances were, I'll be honest. I don't know what I just used there. Oh, did I use the goddamn minute-long foot stompies? I think I very much did, didn't I? 
We got a minute of this. Beautiful stuff. Yep, they keep coming. Okay, is that not going to actually hit anything? Am I stupid? No, it got something. It got something. We got some hearts there. My god, why feet? How did I accidentally use you? I don't even remember bringing you to this floor. You've weaseled your way in. Beautiful. We're up, to, we're up to another heart now. Up to 34 hearts required. It's getting pretty saucy. Foot, how dare you? Feet, please. Stop. You are getting on everyone's nerves, mainly mine. Oh, bad cage. Okay, bad cage, good on hit effect, not so great for us right now. Because he's kind of killing stuff for us, but before we can get our hearts. But he is killing stuff. It's a 14, 15, 16. On every, every room, we're getting, like, a ton of extra hearts. Ah, oh, I keep accidentally killing the enemy. It's my biggest problem right now. <laughs> I'm simply too strong. I'm too swole for my own good. Oop, the spike's there, and I can no longer fly. That was, that was, ooh, sacred orb. Holy, we better try and keep this one alive. Sacred Orb. Does that affect this floor? I think it will, won't it? Alright, don't get too close to things. We're not rubbing against enemies and lose that. Okay. We have so many iframes when we get hit with this, this item. Are you missed all of those hearts? My bad. That isn't amazing. Come on now, game. How dare you? There you go. We got up to forty-one now, baby. Holy. Forty-one hearts required now. That's elite. See if the if the little heart stays on top of us, you just keep spewing up. It just does so much damage. What the what the goddamn? What the goddamn? Devil deal. I think we'll be taking both of those. Thank you. Drop hand. You know, you want to do it. Wah. Ah, it didn't work. My bad, my bad. Anything in here? Oh, there is a sci fly. There's also an echo room. Creates three temporary portals to special rooms. Ooh. That seems interesting. I'm going to take it. Bye bye. Damn it. We're one penny off getting one of these items. Damn it, game. Um, is there any way I can get a penny here? I don't think there is. This is evil, game. This is evil. But either way, we skipped boss rush and we got this cool item. I'm down to climb with it. Go. Sci-fi is obviously more, like, better, but this I, I was I was curious about this. And I'm glad I was, because we found some interesting stuff.
Now I've just got to keep the Sacred Orb alive for as long as I can. I like the sprite for this as well. Okay, that, that one didn't drop too many hearts. We're already almost up to 28 again. So we're, we're, we're speeding through the ranks here. Does it go over rocks? It goes over rocks. So we can create this and then we don't know what we're getting with each one. Intriguing. So is Grey always going to be a secret room? Is, is the, is the colour corresponding what we're going to get? Imagining it is, right? It would make a lot more sense if that was the case. Hey! I have flight. Why, do I even, why am I even bothering with this? There's 16% chance to get double hearts, coins, keys, bombs, pickups with options no longer disappear. Oh, god damn, that's amazing. Not that we need it right now, but that is pretty amazing. Okay. Do another special room here. So we got what I imagine is some sort of boss room. It's a red room. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, I'll be honest, little Chad. I'll be honest. You ain't going to see much use considering. But I respect the hustle. I respect the effort that you're putting in for us, but can't imagine you're going to do too much to help us. Beautiful. We're up to 34 again. We've also got another few rooms. This one's got teeth. Okay, it's just it's just a random combat room. I was curious why I had teeth. We've still got Sacred Orb sitting there as well. Right, actually go to the boss this time. Soul Heart to boot as well, lovely. Yeah, when it's sitting on top of him, it just does an insane amount of damage. I like this. Right, down we go. Sadly, Sacred Orb had no effect there. Big sad. Big sad indeed. And we'll push on through. Ooh, I don't like this, especially with low speed. Oh, bugger. It just kills so hard. It kills so bigly. And then we'll go... I want to go to the red room again, if that's an that actual... Yeah, dude, that's amazing. Also, we got Kapala. Holy... This is pretty ludicrous. Also, a boss. Oh my god, yes, please. Okay, we are we are sitting quite pretty right now. We are sitting quite pretty. By the way, I do hope that when I turn my face away from my mic, it's not too like I'm turning away from my mic now to look at my other monitor. I'm hoping it's not too egregious in like what it sounds like. Because right now I'm speaking direct. Right now I'm speaking to the left or to the right, should I say? Um, I'm hoping that doesn't sound too bad. Like when I do that, it doesn't make too big of a difference. Uh, so now we go blue for secret room, I guess. Yes. Blue is secret room. One second. Right, let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. Okay. Whereabouts are we off to now? It does seem like we're kind of unkillable right now. <laughs> I will say. It would seem a little bit unkillable. But I suppose some bad mistakes could easily uh, take us in the wrong direction here. Where the hell's our boss anyways? Where the hell is our boss? I do not know. I mean, we're getting a ton of hearts yet again. Do I want to keep using this active item? Because like, it's one of the, it's kind of like red key where it's like, I want to use it, but it could just go on forever. 
I guess it could end up taking me to the boss room though, if I'm if I'm lucky. Or it could end up taking me back to the secret room. Oh, my Cardiff Harris isn't even full yet. <laughs> my bad. I've still got that sacred orb, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I think we're in speedrun mode now. Oh my god, keep going the wrong way. Bomb myself out of that room. Okay. Can we go the right way this time? No, we cannot. Bomb myself out of this room too. Oh, you... Okay, the bombs worked pretty well there. Um... The 12 room. Weird, I don't need a 12 room right now. Okay. Unfortunately, we've gone every which wrong way here. So I'm going to hope it's the L-shaped room over to the right. Um, oh, god damn it. I was like, why did I take damage there? Tooth and Nail just absolutely saved my ass. My goodness. Absolutely saved my ass. Okay, can I just leave? <laughs> Monstrous? Are you okay to die? Thank you. Oh my god, that shot almost hit me. God damn. Oh, <laughs> that was evil, game. That was evil. It still teleported me all the way back because of the item. Oh man. Oh man. I really just want to be done with the womb, please. I really should take the, uh, the cross, to be honest, but I think it'll just get eaten away straight away every time. I don't think there's much point in taking it. I don't know if it'll eat my holy mantle, actually, when I use the cardiac arrest, but I'm, I'm imagining it will. At least we've got the Kapala here working pretty hard for us. Here we go, finally. There we go. Okay. On to the heart. Right, let's continue on with Mum. God damn, we're up to 41 on the heart again. God, if, if, as soon as the heart thing passes through, she just instantly dies. This is. With this item, this character is so powerful, my god. Oh, we did get a devil deal, though. I was really hoping we would. Um, oh, what the hell's that? Uh, damage per half red heart held. Oh, god damn. Release 10 flames upon taking damage each flare. Oh, my lord, this sounds amazing. Um, familiar that gets filled with blood each time you get hit when moving to the next floor, gain devil theme rewards, that seems amazing. And damage, uh, black hearts, picking up an eternal heart adds a black heart to the well. Okay, all of that seems pretty awesome. We also got the Leviathan transformation out of that. This, this is pretty good. We should be able to build up our hearts again pretty quickly. All three of those items, I think that was because of Sacred Orb, that they were also good. Um, I got some something negative there. I think a heart container got removed there because I hadn't, uh... I think he'd... Yeah. Let's see if we can rebuild this back up to greatness. We've already got... My god, we already got up to fucking uh, 10 on that one kill, so... I think it's I think it's definitely within the realms of possibility here. I just love the fact that when we do this, we can get all the hearts really easily. Oop, I just went through here by accident. Kind of worked out. Oh my lord. That, that like, little chalice thing is going to fill up so goddamn much. <laughs> we got Twisted Pear at the moment as well, because uh, of our Lilith familiar. We can get like 14 on one kill with this. It's, it's ludicrous. It does glitch out the fires. These fires are meant to spread away from us, but because of uh, this item, they kind of don't. Right, back up to 23. The good thing is it like spreads out all the hearts and then also kills them pretty much every time. So it's a good old double whammy combo wombo. And then obviously as well it kills all the other enemies in the room because of Kapala, and they spread out their hearts as well. It's it's just what it is is it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's absolutely beautiful. There you go. You spread out your hearts. Let that hover on top of you nicely. 
I'll collect whatever you're dropping. There you go, up to 23 already. You are deaded. Beautiful stuff. Th this chalice should give us quite the hefty payout. <laughs> Only got it for one floor, unfortunately. But, ah, uh, guppy's paw, that's it. I mean, it's fine, but it's not really what I was looking for. It's not even fine, really. It doesn't do anything for us, does it? Okay. Red room. No, this is boss. Okay, this is actually perfect. I'll take this. We can absolutely earn this guy, so do not mind. Still gonna pick up all the hearts. I'm able to get an, an additional heart container during this room, so why not give it a go? I did that was a bit too hasty. They see how the fire spread out this time? They didn't spread out before. Tough love just saved us there. Tough as nails, sorry, not tough love. That's a bunch of hearts for me, thank you. Up to 18 now. And we smash into you. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Nice, simple, quick and easy run. God damn, that was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and the new mic. And I'll see you guys in the next one.